Happy Saturday, everybody. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. 2017 Topps Finest Baseball. Eight box. Pick your team. Number 14 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks, to everybody, for hanging out with me on a Saturday night. You guys can be doing anything on a Saturday night. But you're hanging out with me, busting open stuff. I appreciate that. There's Johnny with the last spot mojo, Rangers. Thank you, Johnny. Here we go, everybody. Good luck. All right. There you go. Oh, William's working. You're not going to get in trouble, William? Oh, that's right. You did go out and see Mike McCarthy went out and saw Deadpool, and then he came and hang out with me. All right. So there is two, four, six, and eight right there. Do I plan on doing TriStar baseballs anytime soon? When did that come out, Flying Eagle? I mean, I guess whenever it comes out, yeah. Uh, William says he works at a lab. No people for miles. What are you? What What are you? What are you doing, William? Do you work for the government? Are there secret projects you're working on? Are you going to end up like Bruce Banner and the Hulk? All right, good luck, everybody. Ah, okay, well, careful out there. Mike McCarthy says it would be awesome to be the Hulk and just have uncontrollable rage, Mike? I don't know, I don't know if, I, I, I think the Hulk has a pretty rough life. <laughs> no one insures the Hulk. You think he can get homeowner's insurance? Nope. Nope, no insurance for him. Yeah, we may do, we, we, we enjoy doing those TriStar products, Flying Eagle. We may be, we may get that at some point. Right, imagine the Hulk in that 405 traffic. Hulk smash, for sure. Did you know, folks, there are a lot of other Hulks there's a She-Hulk, a Red Hulk, a Gray Hulk, a lot of different Hulks, just hulking around. All right, good luck everybody. I always feel like they never quite got the Hulk right in movies. I feel like he's such an interesting character. It's like a like a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde kind of character, but no one ever gets into the to the head of of, of the Hulk. They, they, it's just Hulk smash. That's what that's what movies are ended up ended up being. Cody Reed is your autograph to start things off for Rick and his Reds. There's Bryce Harper to 150, 36 out of 150 for the Nationals. That'll be for Mike. Here's Bryce Harper Blue. And the next mini box. There's Adam Duvall, 23 out of 50. Flying Eagle asking predictions for this season. It's not very specific. Uh, I believe the summer will be hot. 25 out of 50, another Cincinnati Red for Rick and his Reds. Hot Flying Eagle. That's my prediction for the season. Sunny. Dry. There's D. Gordon out of 250. Adam Duvall looks like he's yawning. Yeah, because it's just like, yep. 
Oh, another another home run for me. Another five five hundred foot blast for me. And there's D Gordon, who looks like Willie Mays Hayes, whose bunny goes whoop, misses <laughs> messes up the bunt. D Gordon goes to the Marlins. That'll be for William, for Bill Mosher, Billiam. Ah, baseball season. Baseball season. It's, it's a little early to tell, isn't it? Oh, shots fired. Lee saying or yawning because that homer was a solo shot in a 15 to 1 game because the team is awful. Adam Duvall. I don't know. Joe Joey Votto was good. You're welcome, Rick. Didn't didn't the Reds take the take the Mets down in the recent series? Didn't they win like two games, three? Two out of three? Against the Mets. I know this, they swept my Dodgers. Uh, as for the World Series, I feel like it's a little early, but I'll tell you what, Flying Eagle. I am on occasion. I am from time to time a man known to put a couple pennies on a, on a couple uh, wagers. You know? Maybe some future bets. Who did I pick to win the World Series? Um... Uh, I took my Dodgers plus 550. That was a mistake. I took the Red Sox plus 1200. Can you believe the Red Sox were plus 1200 to win the World Series? How how did that happen? I feel like I got great value there. I also got Lee's Mets at plus 2500. I feel like that's a good I feel like that's a good one too. I put a couple pennies on that. I thought the Mets at 2,500 was crazy because all they need to do is get into the playoffs and have a health, healthy pitching rotation and like Jacob deGrom and Noah Syndergaard in the playoffs. Oh, I don't want to see that. No way. No way, no how. So... That'll be that'll be interesting. Yeah, Mickey Cowboy is actually pretty strong. That was a great that was a great managerial hire by the Metropolitans. I'll see I'll see what I can do, Mike McCarthy. Mike McCarthy is trying to get me to go to Vegas in late August and bet baseball parlays all day long. Where do we do that? The Orleans. That's a good locals locals casino. The Orleans, that's where I like to play. They've got a nice sports book there. This is a nice autograph here. Alex Bregman. Alex Bregman for the Strohs. Jimmy Brandt with the Astros. Eleven out of, 11 out of 50. Josh Donaldson for the Blue Jays. Bird Team Mojo for... Uh, Bill and the Blue Jays. I like Dave Roberts. I think he's solid. I think he 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 balances. There's Matt Harvey out of two fifty. I think he balances the uh, the the data driven stuff that a lot of teams are doing nowadays, but also kind of relates to the players really well as a former player and everything. I think he's a I think he's a good manager. All right, on this side. Let's see what we got here. There's Jorge Alfaro for the Phillies. Fighting Phils for uh, William Mosher. Did you place orders as William and as Bill? I have you as both. All right, so a Phillies auto for you. Um, yeah, well, Red, yeah, Red Sox God. There's Carlos Santana, Indians edition out of 150. Um, Dave Roberts was on the Dan Patrick show a couple days ago, and um, and he had said, and Dan Patrick had asked him who he thought he could beat now, right now, in a foot race. He said probably, he said probably Yasmani Grandal. And he also said, and then he paused and he said, no, Kenley Jansen. He could definitely beat Kenley Jansen in a foot race 
from like third to home or something like that. And apparently that stirred up some 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 like tongue in cheek controversy, where like Hanley Jansen was starting to walk around, and then uh, starting to walk around and be like, oh. Dave Roberts called me out. I could beat him in a foot race. So we may see a foot race between Dave Roberts, maybe for charity or something like that, between Dave Roberts and Kenley Jansen. All right. Otani thoughts. You mean the AL MVP, Shohei Otani? What's more valuable than a pitcher who can give you 11 strikeouts in one, in one night and then hit a dinger a couple nights later? Help the offense. What's more valuable than that? Your AL MVP, Shohei Otani. Did you know that Nick Jaspi put some pennies on Otani as AL MVP at plus 3,500 or something like that? Which I thought was incredible value. I, I, I'm kicking myself that I didn't take that action. I don't think he's going to win AL MVP, but I think he's great. I think he's, I, I think he's a great player. Like, I think everyone freaked out when he had a bad spring. Everyone thought he, I, I, you know, I think he's going to, this is the player we're going to see. I feel like we're going to see a guy that gets you maybe, I don't know. I guess it depends on what the Angels want. You know, the, you're going to get, what, 150 innings out of the guy every season. But really high strikeout rate. He'll get you Ws. He'll pitch deep into games. And then for a few other days out of the week, he's going to get you an over 1,000 OPS. He's going to hit you dingers, you know, and, and he knocks out 15 to 20 home runs a season. I'll take that any day of the week. He's got speed, too. I think people forget how fast he is. He's been timed going from home to first. He's been timed as fast as Mike Trout. So think about that in terms of speed. Makes Mike Trout look good. Look how good he's hitting. He'll probably win the MVP, actually. There's Orlando Arcia for the Brew Crew. Matt Garza. True story, folks. True story. It was well into my adult life until I went until I realized that the Brewers logo was a M and a B. It took me way too long to figure that out. And I'm a I'm a big baseball guy too. There's D Gordon Orange out of twenty five. And Daniel Murphy, orange out of 25. So the Marlins, Bill, and Mike with the Nationals. Did I hear about Otani's heritage card? Someone put 30,000. Yeah, I mean, we, we broke a lot of heritage. That's kind of what our thing, Flying Eagle. We got our pulse on the hobby. Of course it's too much. People, people were spending, you know, people were spending a ton of money on Steven Strasburg. But here's the thing. The people that are paying $30,000 for Otani's autograph on it, they're not buying it as an investment. That's the thing. They're not buying it thinking it's going to go up in value. They're buying it because they're buying it because uh, they like Otani. They're just collecting. Wait, did you not know that about the Brew Crew logo? Yeah, it's an M and a B, Milwaukee Brewers. For the Bronx Bombers, 78 out of 99, Tyler Austin. That goes to the Yankees. That'll be for Mike Denton. Out of 250, Andrew Benintendi. Um... Otani with a Japanese signature. I feel like I feel like that's an eight well there's we have a preview picture of it on on the website of him signing it in a in Japanese. But I think they're in 2018 Bowman baseball. I think some people have seen him. Alright, next box. Good luck. Yeah, that blue out of 150, I think though 
But I haven't, I haven't seen. We, we've only, we've only pulled two, and that was in one case, and we, and that was many, many cases ago. So. All right, next one. Good luck, everybody. Tops, oh, Tops now has has it both in English and in kanji. Um, I'll tell you guys. Are we in the trust tree? I'll tell you guys a story about Tops now. So last year during the Dodgers playoff run, I was convinced the Dodgers were going to win the World Series. I was like, this is the year. It's all coming together. And so for every Dodgers win, I would buy the Tops now card. I think from the NLCS on. For every win, I would buy the Do Dodgers Tops Now cards commemorating that win. The entire set of like the four or five cards that come on everything, right? Just the regular base cards, nothing fancy. Thinking that by the end of the World Series, I will have the entire set, right? For the NLCS through the World Series of the Dodgers win, right? Obviously, my Dodgers did not win the World Series. They came one game short. Now, for anyone who's purchased Tops Now stuff, when does it arrive? It arrives like a week or a week or two afterwards, right? After the event. So I started receiving all these packages from Tops like a week or so after the World Series. Too fresh. Too fresh in my head. I still haven't opened them yet. <laughs> They're in the bubble mailers. And like I can feel the plastic case inside. They're in the bubble mailers in a stack in my room. And I have not, I have not had the heart to open it yet. I feel like I can't. I, that's how traumatized I, I am. I, that's, how, that's how traumatized I am. I feel like I can't open it. There's Luke Weaver. I feel like I can't open it until the Dodgers win the World Series. It's going to be sitting there for another like 30 years. Luke Weaver for the Cardinals. That'll go to S Stephen Kendrick Lamar. He's pitching regularly. I feel like he's doing all right. So that's how traumatized I am. You Darvish out of 99 for the Rangers. Well, that's rookie Aaron Judge. That's worth setting aside. And on this side, there's Mike Trout. And, wow, nice. Here's a story of a lovely Trevor. Trevor Story, 17 out of 25. Nino with the Rockies. That's true. I, I guess I could never be as upset. Yeah, Cubs fans are looking at me. Yeah, but you guys won one. See? So that, that that's a moot point now. No one cares anymore. They're not lovable anymore. They're not the lovable Cubs anymore. They won. There's Manny Margot. How do fancy baseball players feel about Manny Margot? I have him on my team. Out of 250 on a, in a keeper league, I feel like he's got a lot of upside. I feel like he's not quite in his final form yet. I don't think he's in his final form yet. Yeah, 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 Mike McCarthy. Nobody cares anymore. They already won it. That's gone now. You can't, you can't hold on to that mantle anymore. Same with the Red Sox fans. No, 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 no like, oh... Yeah, the, the struggle with the Reds. Ah, they won two in like the last 10 years or whatever. It doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter anymore. The Dodgers won more in that time frame. I, 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 was, I was not alive for most of those. Almost all of those. Uh, Lee says Manny Margot, 15 home run, 30 stolen base guy. Um... Uh, yeah, I would like that. Do you think this se what What about this season then, Lee? Because I, I think he could eventually be a 2020 guy. Maybe 20 home runs, 20 stolen bases. I don't think they'll have him steal as much anymore. But um, Ooh, that's brutal, Lee. You were, you were actually at the World Series the time you lost the Royals. I thought that was, that was, I thought that was the season for you guys. He stays healthy, eight home runs, 24 stolen bases. I'll take that. I'll 
take that. Um, oh, sorry, Flying Eagle. I missed your question from about three minutes ago. You, overall, what was the luckiest thing that's ever happened to you? I got a Griffin. You got a Griffin for five bucks. You guys thought it was fake. Took a gamble, got it authenticated, it was real. Well, that's good. Uh, I don't have a story like that. I'm lucky that I have this job in the hobby. How about that? I get paid to open up baseball cards and talk sports with you guys. And watch sports on the TV right there. I get paid for that. Can you believe it? No, it's a little harder than it looks, but it's still fun. So that's the luckiest thing that happened to me, hobby-wise. The fact that this is somewhat of a viable business. There are a lot of case breakers that do this. I think eventually it's like a war of attrition. At some point, I think uh, a lot of people will stop doing it. But then there will be a, a few people that remain that still do it. And I think they'll be the bigger names in the hobby. Ideally. Aaron Judge rookie card with the Yankees logo in the background. And Joe Musgrove, whose autograph does not look like a J. That's 70 out of 150. That goes to Jimmy Brandt and the Astros. Corey, what's going on? I like Walker Buehler. I think he's he's a future number one. It's going to take him, you know, the bulk of this season, maybe another season to, to really get to where he needs to be. You know, Clayton Kershaw wasn't Clayton Kershaw for a couple seasons, but I think Walker Buehler projects to be a number one. Good kid, steady head on his shoulders. Went to Vanderbilt. I, I'm assuming he's somewhat well-educated, smart. You know, already gone through Tommy John, so don't have to worry about that. And there's t another Tyler Austin, a base auto this time for Mike and the Yankees. There's Braden Shipley, 2 out of 99 for Ryan Redman and the D-backs. Verde on that green. And Brian Dozier back there. All right, three boxes to go. Ladies and gentlemen, three boxes to go. Good luck. Six autographs to go in this break. Mike McCarthy saying, I lost a hilarious bet because the Cubs won. You bet a friend that Notre Dame would win a national title. What, in football? National title before the Cubs won. And friend was a big Bama fan, so this bet was made in 2010. The deal was Notre Dame, Notre Dame won. He had to buy and wear $150 of Notre Dame gear, your choice. And if you lost, you had which you did. You have to buy the Bama gear. E. E. That's that's rough. That's rough. Well, we're on the West Coast, Flying Eagle. Nobody forgets about Paul Paul Goldschmidt over here. Where are you from? Are you, if you, it's East Coast bias. You guys are the ones that forget about Paul Goldschmidt. He should have won the MVP last year. Slumping heavily this year, though. Oh, thanks, William. I try to make it fun. Listen, I mean, this should be a fun... Like, I think of this as a TV show. You know? So there has to be at least mild entertainment here. Otherwise, you're just watching some dude open up baseball cards. And, like, your wife or girlfriend walks in and is like, what are you doing? And be like, yeah, it's kind of weird, isn't it? But, you know, if... If I make it a, sh if I make this like more of a show, this is something that everybody can watch. Families can watch. Your spouses, your significant others, your friends, everyone can can kick back and watch together. It makes it a show, a community, all that sort of stuff. So now you're watching something like something that's like glorified sports talk radio, and with some sports cards in here. Now it's not just you just watching some dude open up baseball cards. This has got to be a cool thing. We're here in L.A. Cool is important to us. It's got to be cool. We want to make this pretty cool. 
Uh, see, you're on the East Coast Flying Eagle. That's why people forget about Colt, Paul. That's why you think people people forget about Colt, Paul Goldschmidt. No one forgets about him out here. He's pretty strong. Yeah, Corey, your Bravos are playing excellent baseball. There's Eddie Rosario. I got him on my fantasy team. My crappy, crappy fantasy team this year. Terrible. Eric Jennings, though, gets his Eddie Rosario. I like him. I like him. I think he's going to be a big part of that offense out there. There's Kenley Jansen, who's returning to form. Dansby Swanson. I like Dansby Swanson. He's good. There's David Price, who stopped playing video games because of the carpal tunnel. He's fine now. Too many video games for David Price. Boston Red Sox. I feel like Red Sox fans hate him. Or he'll never do right by the Red Sox. He's got to get out of there. There's Danny Duffy. 1999. That's Prince. 1999. Royals. Mosher with that one. I knew a uh, Katrina Mosher in high school. Mosher. Danny Duffy, solid pitcher for the Royals. We've got Brian Dozier out of 250. They should call him the Bulldozer. Do they call him that out there, Minnesota? The Bulldozer. All right, there he is. All right, two boxes go. Willie, you should, Bill, you should come back. Uh, where in L.A. did you live? <laughs> L.A. is great. I enjoy it. I was born in Northeast Ohio. My parents made the decision to move to California when I was very young. I'm glad it worked out like that. <laughs> Although, I guess if I grew up in Northeast Ohio, I wouldn't know any better, so. Now, Corey's saying that there is an NHL prospect who has a, quote, video game addiction, and they say that that, that is ruining his chances in the NHL? Like, what, too much, uh, too much StarCraft? Oh, man, at Miller Park, players are playing Fortnite on the big screen. The perks of being a professional ball player. That would be pretty cool. I don't know what a Fortnite is, but I would enjoy playing video games on the big screen. <laughs> you know, in, in, in Korea, South Korea, they have, like, these huge uh, StarCraft tournaments. Like, people show up in the, uh, the, the Korean League baseball stadiums. They fill up those baseball stadiums. To watch people, uh, to watch like these professionals play these video games, like on the big screen, like it's a thing. It's crazy. Yeah, I, I actually don't play video games at all. I think the last one I played consistently was I don't know, Goldeneye. <laughs> maybe, maybe I played like Call of Duty Two, whatever that early World War Two one was. That's mostly because I like World War II history. So, I like World War II history, so I just play that and just be like, yeah, I'm like part of the 101st Airborne. Easy company. Yeah, stupid Nazis. All right. Oh, look at this. Finest finishes Edgar Martinez, hearkening back to 1995. ALDS Game 5. Six out of 25. Wow. Yep, the double. That was that was the Mariners fans call it the double. Just about everyone agrees it was the most important hit in the history of the Seattle franchise. After the Yankees grabbed a 5-4 advantage in the 11th inning of the 1995 ALDS finale, Martinez lined a two-run double down the left field line to send the Mariners to the ALCS. Nice one. That goes to Jimmy Brandt and the Seattle Mariners. Uh, yeah, sorry, Lee. That's pro that, that probably does replace the Barry Bonds hit that you might be hoping for. Here's Johnny Cueto, though. No? 
32 out of 50. Gold, Johnny Cueto. Yeah, I don't even know what a fortnight is, Corey. Well, I know what a fortnight is. That's two weeks, but I don't know what fortnight is. <laughs> There's Tyler Austin. Is it a first-person shooter? I think it's a first-person shooter, right? Maybe? I'm just guessing now. We've got Hunter Renfro for the Padres. 3 out of 25 orange wave shimmer thing. It's party. That goes to Aaron Monzone and the San Diego Padres. I feel like the Padres team, I think they've got some upside. I think they'll surprise some people in a couple years. Michael Fulmer to 150. Out of 250, Jorge Alfaro. Oh, Red Wave out of 25? Oh, that's not orange? I just assumed that 25 is always orange, but I guess it does kind of look red. It could keep things consistent, guys. Tops, Panini, all of you. Everybody. Keep it consistent. Drives drives us crazy, especially if you have like a little OCD. You're like, they should just be named the same things. All right. Just keep confusing everybody. Oh, I do not. Okay, yeah, that makes. I, I remember that now. Lee saying red and blue waves are out of twenty-five. All right. I think I remember that now. That's coming back to me. I think I probably had the same comment last year when we were breaking a lot of this. They're like, make it consistent. Come on, guys. All right. All right, last two autographs. Good luck, everybody. Let's see what happens here. Two autographs to go. Yeah, but I know it's a video game, Flying Eagle, that makes millions a day, and I know celebrities play it. What is it? <laughs> like, am I? Is it like Sim City 2000? Is it like a side scroller, like Super Mario Brothers? Is it like I shoot and kill people? Like a first person shooter? Is it I don't know what it is. Am I built is it like StarCraft? Like a like a building thingy? I don't know what those games are called. Is it like Farmville? Is it like Pokemon Go? Oh, it's a first person shooter, says Elvis, but for oh but like with Minecraft. So there's like, oh, okay. So it's like a Call of Duty, Minecrafty kind of game. So you can build stuff and kill stuff. Got it. All right, fair enough. Oh, a third person shooter with with build. So third person shooter with building. Oh, I see. So your character is out here. It's not like a gun like this. It's like your person is out here. I got it. Okay, you can cut down trees and build forts to protect yourself. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. So it would be like Kyle Shorver. There you go. I got you got I got your Fortnite right here. All right. I know what Fortnite is. I, I like pretending I don't know things. Justin Turner, Red Turn 2. Add Red Turn 2. Dodgers, Mike McCarthy. Dodger Joe Mojo. The savior of our season. Nice Justin Turner. He doesn't sign often. I know what Fortnite is. I pretend like I don't know what things are. Pretend like I'm older than I am. And I'll be like, why don't we don't listen to Lawrence Welk? We should just start listening to Lawrence Welk more often. I don't know what the, these kids are doing these days. Back in the day, I used to put a quarter in a machine and have a rocket ship in the front of a grocery store take me to the moon. I had, I had imagination as my Fortnite. Oh, look at this. 
Breakthrough, Stephen Piscotti, 12 out of 25, Cardinals edition of Stephen Piscotti. That goes to Stephen Kendrick Lamar. No, I'm like Mike McCarthy. I'm like uh, I'm I'm sixty. I'm seventy two. I look pretty good for seventy two. There's Bryce Harper out of two fifty. Yeah, our condolences to Stephen Piscotti's family. All right. More Lawrence Welk. That's what I say. Bring back the Lawrence Welk. Bring back all of that. Yeah, bring back pay phones. I use, I like dumb phones, not smartphones. What's the best poll? That's it, folks. We're done. Uh, that was Pick Your Team 14 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. We don't have any more finest, but keep checking back on the website for more. Uh, last thing, Flying Eagle, what's the best poll I have ever pulled? I haven't pulled it yet, Flying Eagle, so go to jazbeeshobbyland.com, buy into our breaks. And we'll pull the greatest pull of all time. We'll see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.